problem number eight, another equation to solve. This one is a little bit more complicated up front. It looks like I'm going to have to use some factoring here. I can see that I have a cosine x. That's a GCF here. I'll pull it out to the front, leaving me with 2 sine x plus 5. I do have a 0 on the right side. That was important because now I can set each of these equal to 0. I have cosine x equals 0, so I'll have to solve that. And then this other one, let's see, I'll move the 5 over to the other side, and then I'll divide by 2. This one comes out to be sine x equals negative 2.5, but that's impossible. The lowest sine ratio that you can have is negative 1. So I don't have to worry about this one. The only one that I have to worry about is cosine x equals 0. Let me find all the solutions within one period. Of course, I'm thinking unit circle with a 0. Cosine is the a coordinate. So you could have this spot up here or you could have this spot down here, which means on the surface, it looks like my answer would be pi over 2 plus spin around multiples of 2 pi, or 3 pi over 2 plus spin around multiples of 2 pi. And that's true, but when my answers are equally spaced like these two are, there is an easier way to state the solution. I don't have to think about spinning around 2 pi because I know once I have the first one, if I just keep going pi, here's another pi, here's another pi, and another pi, and so forth, I'll get all the answers. In other words, all I have to say is start at pi over 2 and then just keep adding on multiples of pi. Here then is the simplest way of giving the final answer. Problem number nine, just some quick values, hopefully from memory. Sine pi over four, that's an easy one. That's root two over two. I mean, obviously, you can always draw the picture real quick, right? It's the 45, 45, 90 situation there. Cosine pi over three, that's equal to one half. Once again, pi over three, 60 degrees, cosine one half. Sine pi over six is also equal to one half. You can even get that off the same picture here. Here's 30 degrees, and you can see the sine ratio is 1 half. Cosine pi over 2, that's a unit circle answer. Pi over 2 is up there at the top at the point 0, 1. Cosine gives you the A, so this would be 0. Sine gives you the B, so this would be 1. And then cosine 0 would also be on the unit circle, would be this spot here. This is the point 1, 0. Cosine 0 would be the 1. And then lastly, number 10, another equation to solve. Again, it looks a little bit complicated. I've got a sine squared, and then I've got a cosine. Uh, I don't see any easy factoring, so I think what I'm going to have to do is switch over to one or the other. The easiest one to pick, I think, would be to switch to cosine, because in place of sine squared, I can write 1 minus cosine squared x from the Pythagorean identity. And then if I clean this thing up, I should have something I can factor. So I have 2 minus 2 cosine squared x. And then the rest of it is unchanged. And I really like the coefficient of the squared term to be positive. So I think what I would do is move everybody over here to this side. I'll flip it around too as I write it. So that's going to give me positive 2 cosine squared x. It'll give me minus 5 cosine x. And then when I subtract that 2 to move it to the other side, I already had the negative 1. Negative 1 take away 2 is negative 3. And there is my 0 that I need on the one side. And now I can go ahead and tackle the factoring. I don't have a GCF. I have three terms, so I'm thinking FOIL problem here. This has got to be 2 cosine x and cosine x to make 2 cosine squared x. At the back, I'm thinking it's got to be a 3 and a 1. How am I going to make that 5? It's got to be a negative 5. So I'm thinking I'm going to need to do a negative 6 from this multiplication and then a positive 1 from this multiplication, and that does it. There's my negative 5 cosine x and take away 3. 
set each factor here equal to zero. So there's my two equations. Let's do the simple math. On this one, you're going to subtract the one and divide by two. On this one, you're going to move the three to the other side. Thankfully, I get to cross this one out. You can't have a cosine ratio of three, so don't worry about that. The only one I have to worry about is cosine x equals negative one half. Let's see, I'm looking for the solutions within one period. Cosine is negative in the second quadrant as well as in the third quadrant. The cosine ratio adjacent over hypotenuse. And so I know I'm looking here at a 30, 60, 90. This, of course, would be root 3. So the reference angle here is 60 degrees. This one would also be 60 degrees. And so one of my angles is right here, and the other one is right there. The first one looks to be 120 degrees, which in radians is 2 pi over 3. And the second one is 60 past 180. That's 240. That's 4 pi over 3. We want all the exact radian solutions. These answers are not equally spaced, so I will have to keep it two lines. But I can add on the usual multiples of 2 pi. And so here are all the exact solutions.